Welcome back, you two. Wifey mixing up some. Wife's mixing up some egg there and stuff, getting ready to meal the fish. She's gonna meal them in here and I'm gonna be cooking them outside. And all she does is she whips up the egg and then she'll dip them in the. Is, we using cornmeal today or seafood mix? It's cornmeal. Cornmeal? Well, we got people coming over and we have a little cooking out and I'm going to take the fish outside and fry some of them. She's got some of them already frying in here. Yeah, that's what we're doing for the day, cooking for the day for my birthday. Since I didn't get to cook yesterday. Yeah, when she does them, maybe out here on the outside, she got some shish kebabs out here cooking. But like you got what? Squash? Zucchini. Zucchini. What else? Them peppers? Peppers. Peppers and pork. The pork shish kebab? Yes, and chicken. And pork shish kebab and chicken. She got chicken on them pork. Now that's the meats that she's got on there, different types of vegetables. Well, we got some of the shish kebabs done there, and I'm out here cooking some of the fish. She's got the other fish cooked on the inside. But, uh, we got it going here. Got some more shish kebabs on. I'm frying in a pot today instead of frying pan. I'm deep frying mine. We hit. We'll have some of it done here directly. People start showing up soon. Well, you two, my work is done. I was cooking them shish kebabs out here on the outside. The wifey, she's still in there cooking something. I got all my fish cooked. We have to check on her in a little bit. And see how her fish is doing in them, what and all she has cooked. We'll be ready to eat in a little bit. Oh well, we's back and got the fish done. I fried some of them. The wifey fried some of them. You know, I had to excuse the mess because we've been doing a lot, of, or she's been doing a lot of cooking in here. Grace, what's this with the crabs in it? Um, coconut milk with the squash. Coconut milk with squash with um crab. Yes, sir. I don't know if y'all can see the crab in there or not, but she caught some crabs the other day. She's got that mixed in there. Got the pan of fish here. Shish kebabs. And some uh, catfish nuggets. Some type of gravy here. What kind of gravy? Just a brown gravy with the uh, one that I use for marinate the marinate the marinate the barbecue. Yeah. Yeah. With the shish kebabs, I marinated the whole yeah. night. What is this? What is this, a squash casserole or something? Squash. Got a squash casserole. She's got different things mixed in. and uh, Got spaghetti here. She made spaghetti. And watermelon, salad. Got salad here and rice. This is going to be my birthday dinner today. And the cake. We got cake up here. Get this cake cut after we eat and all we're just waiting on the gas to get here and we'll start eating but if any of y'all know a filipino they go all out whenever they have something so they be doing all kind of cooking try to have a variety of different things but that's gonna be my dinner for the day i have my birthday dinner today instead of yesterday on my birthday where most people be off work and stuff but we could get as soon as they get you, I'll try to bring some more video. Hey, YouTube, I didn't get to finish up uh, video yesterday. Everybody started coming in. I got busy and didn't get to finish. But day Sunday, and 
thought I'd come out here and cook a little bit outside here today. I thought I'd do some uh, cooking like my mom used to do back when she was a little girl. She's 89 now. When I was a young boy, she used to cook what I'm going to do here today for our Sunday dinner. And thought I might share it with y'all. It's just a simple dish. Back then, they didn't have... Um, a lot of times they didn't have flour and stuff. Her dad had to walk about four miles to get to town to, to get stuff from the store back then. Because the only place you had was Andrews and he'd walk from where they lived at all the way to Andrews to get flour and sugar and salt, stuff like that. But this is just a simple recipe that she showed me is just chicken. I just took a chicken, cut him up and some of the breast was so thick I just sliced some of the breast into uh, breast patties and just some onions and black pepper and salt and just a little bit of grease in the pan mama calls it um steam fried chicken but thought I just might share a little bit of what they used to do back years ago and I watched her and I learned how to do it because when I got off the school bus she'd have it cooked sometime and to me, it tasted just as good back then as anything else you could eat. I'm going to do a little cooking with it, and Share it with you. All right, I got my little bit of grease in my pan. They're getting hot. I just want to add my chicken in there and just let it simmer. You can use a pot or a frying pan just so it ain't cast iron. And at the end, I'm going to put water in there, and you ain't want to add no water to that cast iron pan. I'm going to just put the chicken in there, no flour, no nothing, just let it simmer in that grease a little while. Kind of cook. I usually cook it on the stove. I got the fire I should have turned down low as I can, but I hope it don't get too hot on me and to burning the chicken. But even if it's piled up on top of each other, it don't matter because you just want to keep turning it till you uh, till you get all of it just kind of kind of fried just a little bit. So you kind of cook it that it gets done. My mom called just a while ago asking what we was having for dinner. I know she enjoyed this when she finds out I cook in one of her old style simple ways. Anyhow, when I, I just put a little bit of grease in there to start with. And I ain't trying to fry the chicken. I'm just got the fire turned on low. Just trying to parch it a little bit, turn it brown. I keep moving some from the bottom to the top. After you, it cooks for a few minutes, it's the juice out that chicken is going to build up in there and mix with the, the grease that's in there to start with. But after a while, it, that all that juice is going to start to evaporate out the oil and some of your chicken is going to start to want to stick to the bottom. Uh, don't worry about that. Just just let it cook and just keep keep moving it and what sticks to the bottom. Don't don't let it worry you. I mean, but anyhow, once you put later, I'll add water to it and hit to loosen up all that that's stuck to the bottom, and the chicken will be a lot of it'll be so tender that it'll be wanting to fall apart when you're trying to move it. But I I get to that in a little bit. But if you ever camping or something and forget the flour or something, if you can fry chicken or want something over to eat and you ain't got a lot of stuff to cook with or something it's just a simple way to cook it the only thing you need is just a little bit of grease to chicken a little bit of salt and pepper and some onion if you got it you don't need it but the more you put in there the more to flavor it okay got my chicken brown it's done all the way through got a good brown texture to it if you don't want it to stick so bad, you can take all the skin off of it. Sometimes I take all the skin off of it. The skin is mainly what, what, what 
wants to stick to the bottom after the juice out the chicken has uh, evaporated. What I'm going to do now, pour most of this grease out. If you remember, I only used a little bit of grease to start with. Pour most of that grease into another pot. Just want to leave a little grease in the frying pan. Still got the grease from out of there. Stick that under there, it's hot. Got to do this quick. This is why I didn't want to use a cast iron pan. And I just want to add some water to it. And let that come to a boil here in a minute. And that'll start to tenderize it. It'll moisten that chicken back up and start to tenderize it. And it'll have a lot of flavor in there once I put the onions and other stuff in there. Oh, I'm adding me some salt to it. It's getting ready to start simmering here. I'm going to add some salt to it. Give it a little salt there. And some black pepper. I love black pepper, even red pepper. I ain't want to add too much pepper to it today because my mom's wanting some. So I can't get it too spicy. Sometimes I put red pepper in there to kind of give it a little kick. And you could do steamed chicken, but this here tastes a little different than steamed chicken. Uh, I mean stewed chicken, this here tastes a little different than stewed chicken. That's why I like to brown it and all that in the grease and stuff instead of just putting it water and boiling it. I don't care much for stewed chicken. But now, steam fried chicken like this, man, I used to love mama have this cook. This and a biscuit when I got off the school bus. Man, make a puppy pull a freight train. All right, we got it back up to a simmer here. My juice is turned brown. Just simmering in there and I'm adding my onions. Uh, some ice, onions here diced up. Add them in there and let them simmer in there. Let's check this piece of chicken back in if you can see it. And see if it's, yeah, look at this. Yeah, it just come right off the bone. I put that, added that water back in there after I cooked in that grease and it got just as tender. Got these chunks of breast in there. They just come right apart. I used to cook for, uh, back when we used to dog hunt, I used to cook for a moth come through here. But I used to cook for um, 35, about 35 head of people sometime on Saturday out at the hunting club when we used to dog hunt for deer. And one of the guys out there told me, say, Junior, say, if you wasn't a man, I'd divorce my wife and marry you as good as you can cook. He said, it's, it's just a shame you not a man can cook that good. He said, you cook just like my mama. <laughs> you know how guys is, they get on a hunting club or somewhere and you get 35, 40 head together. They, somebody could come up with something. We can let that simmer there a little while. Okay, we done let it simmer. Get me a piece of one of them wings out of there. I cut them wings up. Get some of the juice on this rice here. Chicken's coming apart. Anyhow, that's just some simple cooking. Country cooking. Back in the old day, the way my mom and them used to do it. Anyhow, if a gnat or a mosquito flies across that hot pan of steam and falls in there don't worry about it that's just more protein he'll be cooked well done when he comes out of there if you're cooking on the outside but uh hope you enjoyed but anyhow just thought I'd get outside and do a little cooking today it ain't so hot nice breeze blowing under this oak tree 
hope you enjoyed but I'm going to conclude this up with a, another episode of cooking with junior but I'm an outdoor channel and I cooked outdoors so that makes it an outdoor video so anyhow till the next time we'll check with you later YouTube